Bella, what is this? Where did you find this, huh? Hey, welcome back to another video. So it's been a couple of weeks since I did an update on the shop. I've been keeping myself busy with little projects here and we'll, I'll show you guys some of the things that I've been working on for the past two or three weeks. Uh, I, you know, there's no reason to, to apologize for not making videos. These videos are really for me, um, for future archival purposes anyway. So uh, I, I do need to do an update video though. So I'll go ahead and take you um, around the shop. Uh, the electrician and the inspector are going to be here in about a half hour. So, well, the electrician's already here. We're just waiting on the inspector uh, for the electrical box that he installed a uh, couple months ago. Um, back in June, I think it was. Uh, right now, it's August 21st, 2022. So let's go ahead and do a little tour of the shop here and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, not too much different stuff. We just have, you know, the usual. We have orders. Uh, bags to be made, bags of pay dirt, nothing's changed here. Um, staying busy, that's for sure. Got some expert bags getting ready there. We have some crumb bags, beginner, um, discovery bags and all that. We got our kitchen strainers in from the dollar store. We order them from the Dollar Tree online. They're a dollar, right? Don't need anything fancy. Gold pans, these are just signed ones. Labels and snuffer bottles and all that stuff. So here in the shop, um, I don't know if I showed any of this, so I'll just kind of walk around. Just my setup bench, which is also cluttered, but I am in the process of making cabinets and drawers and shelves. Right now, I'm, I'm gonna, um, today I'm working on doing a cabinet up here. It's going to be 36 inches wide, 24 inches tall, and only 12 inches deep. The, the reason I, I chose those dimensions is because um, I, don't want, I don't want something sticking out really far. I only want something out about 12 inches. But I made, I made it really wide, so 36 inches wide. Um, I may or may not put, put doors on it. I might, I might just leave it as shelves. But I do have... Um, and I'm just go ahead and cutting out all the wood. I'm drilling pocket holes right now. Um, here's my little pocket hole station right here. So I just have my uh, Milwaukee portable vacuum hooked up to the pocket jig. So I can just turn it on and drill. I'll turn it on for a second. You can see that I don't have to hold it. It's got a little lock mechanism on there, which makes it perfect for this so I'm getting ready to drill some pocket holes in here that's the stopping point that I'm at right now and then I'm gonna uh, put a French cleat on the wall and attach it to the wall using that downdraft table so this is just a little um, thing I, I designed here just a, a, a pull out drawer with my sanding equipment and stuff in here this is a pneumatic uh, pneumatic drum bladder sander Basically, you fill it up with air, and then you can hold it. You, you squeeze this, and it spins this, and then you can go around the edges of the guitars really well and to get into these little curves and stuff. So this is a nice tool to have. Um, just took a little engineering to figure out how to get it all put together, but no problem. Got my Dyna braid. And then of course I have my air compressor. That's my air supply for it. This is just a bunch of holes drilled into the top of the, it's all stapled down, so I'm not gonna show it, but you can see the holes there. There's a chamber in here and it's triangular or trapezoidal or some strange shape. And it just, I can hook up my uh, dust collection to it. So when I'm sanding, all the dust goes into the dust collector and not into my studio, right? Uh, this is this is a Manta 7 string. It's just a prototype. It's just a fiberboard peg head. What I'm doing is, is I'm trying to build it from this point out to a full guitar. I'm able to mill down some uh, fingerboards. However, I can't slot them yet. 
And what I'm doing is I'm actually going, instead of slotting my fingerboards over at the miter table like I originally wanted to do, I had, where is it? Here it is right here. This is my old um, fretboard slotting jig. So I would hook this to a vacuum pump and I had the vacuum pump come through here and I, I routed these channels. So you'd put a fingerboard on there, it would suck it down. And then these little lines here were all of the, uh, where the saw would go through. And on the other side, I would attach a fingerboard. So there's my 25 and a half inch uh, template for those. And then I would, on here, there would be a little metal pin here. So the metal pin would fit in each slot and then it would basically just copy it. I would go like this, run the blade over it, move it over one, go over like this. Um, but this is the old school way. This is the way I used to do it. Um, this is before I had any money or anything like that when I had to pretty much build everything myself, which is a good skill to have. Um, but I went ahead and purchased an LMII fret, fretting, fret slotting jig for the table saw. And I have a special blade. This is the fancy way. What do you guys see how this works? So I'll, I'll make a video on that um, once I get that rolling. And uh, yeah, uh, I think the electrician and the inspector are here. So uh, yeah, quick update. All right, I, uh, I got the carcass of this shelf up. Um, it's going to be a cabinet. I'm going to have two shelves, one here and one here. I attach it with French cleats just because it's way easier and even more sturdy. Plus I don't have to put a back on it. Um, I integrated the French cleat into the cabinet frame itself. That way there's no gap between the wall and the cabinet. So it's flush. And like I said, there's, there's no back on it. So that's great. Yeah, now um, I'm just taking care of the shelf. I'm gonna be sanding out the shelf here. Just knocking off some rough edges and stuff like that. I was working on, cause this uh, attachment for my downdraft table, it wasn't perfect. So um, I added some flashing tape to it to make it a tighter fit. And there we go. That should work perfectly. I'm gonna get sanding this out. So as I was doing that with the downdraft table, got a knock on my shop door. The neighbor's giant locust tree is coming down at least um, he said not all the way to the property line because it would damage the tree too much. But he's just going to take off most of this lower hanging stuff and some of the dead stuff just to, you know, so I don't wake up next to a locust tree one morning. So that's good. I'm running a time lapse here and uh, I'll play that um, during this commentary part. Quick little update on the garden. My mom in Pennsylvania was posting on Facebook pictures. She's already eating corn. Uh, but this for, you know, this is pretty good. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got like five stalks of corn here. The zucchinis and the cucumbers and all this stuff is just, it goes, it's crazy. Um, she had just picked cucumbers this morning, but we had a couple big ones here. I could hear something walking around up here. Cantaloupes, cantaloupes, watermelons, pumpkins. That pumpkin is starting to take off. Pumpkin here, little watermelon there. No zucchinis right now. She probably picked them this morning, but green beans are going crazy. It doesn't look very big, but man, yesterday I picked a whole bunch, a big handful of green beans. All right, there's, they're starting. All right, let's get back to work. All right, finish sanding these things up. Um, I'm just waiting on some hinges. I'm doing European hinges, just like I did on these guys here. These type of things where they're recessed in here. So uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm, I'm gonna put doors on that. Uh, the inspector, everything's good. He looked around, he looked at everything. The only thing he didn't like was that there's no bushings up here at the top, but it's PVC to Romex, so it's no big deal. He passed it, he said it's it's fine, but everything else looked great. 
as far as all my wiring, my hard wiring to my machines. And um, yeah, I'm still waiting for my fret slotting thing in the mail. It's the next day, by the way. So in the meantime, while I wait for my hinges and my fret slotting jig, I'm gonna go ahead and build a shelf system over here because I still need somewhere to store my fingerboards, my neck blanks. These are all maple neck blanks, um, truss rods, uh, guitar top woods, basically a big shelving system here for all kinds of stuff. So that's the next project. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more updates, definitely let me know. But that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.